Yo, what's good peeps? Today I'm going to be taking a very quick look at the Xbox deals with gold plus the spotlight sales and point out 15 games that I think are definitely worth grabbing in the deal. The deal does run from today until early next Tuesday, but with Black Friday and also Cyber Monday not too far away, I'm sure some of these games will be back in future sales. So if you don't get an opportunity to pick up any of these this week, I'm definitely sure that you will eventually see some of these games returning in some of the cells every now and then i will be running through my personal 15 in alphabetical order and i will also be mentioning games that are currently on game pass for those who might not currently have access to game pass or either ea access or whatnot so definitely let's get straight into it First up, we got Batman Arkham Collection, which comes in at £16.49, down from £49.99, which saves you £33.50. To me, this collection is awesome as it has three really solid games and as a massive of Arkham Asylum and also City on the Xbox 360, and I did really enjoy Night. I think all three are definitely worth playing if you never got the opportunity to play them before and certainly worth grabbing in the cells. have at long last defeated the great Batman. Down from £34.99 to £13.99, saving you around £21 is Bayonetta and Vanquish. This is a pretty decent price for two amazing games. Now, as someone who absolutely loves Bayonetta, I actually got this game physically and also digitally. And if I can recall, when I did get the digital version, it was probably on sale for around £17.50. So for me, for this price, you can't really go They're wrong. tired of these weak things they keep why did we become super from 54 pounds and 99 pence to 18 pounds and 14 pence we've got the awesome bundle featuring south park sticker truth and also the fractured butthole two amazing rpgs that have hours of gameplay and laughter definitely one to pick up if you've never got an opportunity to buy this game before certainly a really really cool collection how come i have to have the netflix series i want a movie too you have a movie mysterion you're in the third coon and friends united movie after your netflix series from £64.99 to £16.24, City Skylines Mayor Edition will save you £48.75 if you do grab this game during this sales. This game is yet again another awesome title that will keep you occupied for hours. Not gonna lie, when I first played this game as a newbie, it was a little bit overwhelming, but once I did get into the swing of things, it was a real pleasure to play. Down to £12.99 from £19.99, saving you £7, we have action-adventure game Dead Cells. This one I actually did play on Game Pass, and it was really, really fun. And for £13, if you want a really cool game to play, this definitely might be one worth taking a punt with. Currently at £9.99, down from £12.49, which I guess isn't a massive savings of about £2.50, we do have Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Now, as someone who doesn't really play visual novel games, I'll be honest, I haven't actually played this specific game, but quite a few people have said that it is a really cool game. It's well written and definitely is worth picking up if you do want to grab it for around £10. I wanted to mix up this list, so I did want to give you guys a variety of recommendations. So this one, I definitely thought worth putting on your radar. Down to £7.99 from £15.99, saving you £8 is the silly multiplayer party game Gang Beats. Now this one recently did hit Game Pass and I have had a great, great time playing this game. It is a fun beat em up and definitely a really great party game if you've got a few people around. So certainly worth £7.99 if you don't have Game Pass, definitely worth adding to your collection this one. <laughs> Now 
originally priced at £20.99, now currently at £16.79, saving you a mere £4.20 is Hades. This one is definitely one of the best games that I've played this year on my Xbox. I played through Game Pass since it did drop on August, and this game is amazing. Certainly, if you don't have Game Pass, this should certainly be a game that is sitting in your catalogue. I never actually really played this game on the Nintendo Switch when it did drop last year, but when I did get an opportunity to really play it this year, I am amazed at how great this game is. Certainly one to pick All up. Right, one more time. sitting at £20.99 and pence from £52.59 and pence is Hitman 3 where you can save a whopping £31.50. and pence. Now this is an awesome stealth or gun blazing action adventure game where there is a great amount of hours of gameplay hidden in this gem. Definitely a really really cool Hitman game, one that I certainly haven't still finished but I'm having a blast still playing it from time to time. Saving you 50% on its original listing is Hotline Miami Collection, which has come down to £10.49 from £20.99. This game is awesome. I own both games on the PlayStation 4, and I've actually really wanted to own this game over on my Xbox since it was released a couple of years ago, but rarely went on sale. So this would actually be my personal opportunity to pick this game up. But be warned, it is very challenging if you haven't played it before, but the game is super, super fun. <laughs> sitting in at £7.49 down from £12.49 saving you a good £5 is Katana Zero. Now I actually did also play this game on the Game Pass a few months ago. I don't think it currently is on Game Pass but when I did get the opportunity to play this game I was addicted to it even though some of the levels were very very insane and challenging but still a really really good game. <laughs> Originally priced at £89.99 and now down to £35.99, saving you a crazy £54 is Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate and Injustice 2 Legendary Edition Bundle. Two amazing fighting games for over 50% saving. I can't see how you can go wrong with this one if you don't own either games. To me, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate is certainly still one of the best games on the next gen or even just as a matter of fact, one of the best fighting games over either on the PS4 and also the Xbox. Xbox One. Definitely still worth grabbing if you guys never got the opportunity to grab either that or the Injustice 2. Shenmue 1 and 2 is sitting in at £9.99, pence, down from £24.99, which is saving you a nice £15. Now, I know this isn't going to be for everyone, but as someone who absolutely loves this series from the amazing Dreamcast days, I've always going to be recommending this game for those who never got the opportunity to play it before. An amazing bundle, an amazing game, and definitely an amazing price. sitting in at £20.99 down from £34.99 saving you £14 is the Yakuza Remastered series now this is just like Shenmue to me where I absolutely love the franchise and for £20.99 there definitely is loads of hours of amazing gameplay and enjoyable content for you guys to enjoy which definitely will keep you occupied for a number of hours now this game is currently on Game Pass but if you don't have Game Pass this yet again is another massive recommendation from myself because as I said I absolutely love the Yakuza series and if you do follow the channel you know how much I do speak in high regards about pretty much most of the Yakuza games.
already on sale for £12.59 from £62.99, saving you £50.40 is Watch Dogs 2 The Deluxe Edition. Now you can get the standard edition for £10.99, but in my humble opinion, for an extra £1.50, the add-ons is probably worth just the extra. This to me is an amazing game, but I will be honest, this is typically on sale, so not at the it's not the end of the day if you miss out on grabbing this this week, as I know probably within the next couple of weeks or so, especially with Black Friday coming up, this specific game I'm sure will definitely be on sale, but definitely one that I really wanted to pop onto you guys' radar if you never had the opportunity to play this game before, because this is definitely my favorite Watch Dogs game. Anyway, peeps, that was my list of recommendation for this week's sale. I have put all of the games that are on sale in the description. Trust me, there is loads and so many that I couldn't even mention. Have a look through the list and do let me know in the comments below of any of the games that you would personally recommend in the comments that I, I failed to mention. And I will definitely surely help other gamers out to potentially make that informed decision about what game to buy. I will try and do this format for the other consoles. So definitely looking at the PlayStation sales and also some of the, the Nintendo Switch sales just to keep you guys updated with my personal recommendation of games that you should definitely be trying to grab in these sales, especially from a digital perspective. As always, if you did enjoy this urban gameplay video, be sure to smash the like button. Do hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel before. And until next video, we definitely, definitely say peace out, peeps. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos.